What's up guys, it's your boy Two Phones, aka I Tech You Out Guy, here again with another informative video. This is a tutorial on how to use your Google Drive app and um, show you a little, you know, features and things in, in sort. So no further ado, let's go ahead and open the Google Drive application, which is this little triangular circle thing right here. Well, it's a triangle, more like a triangle. And it has green, yellow, and blue. So we're gonna open that application up and Right now, you're looking at my main page. Uh, this is like the most recent uh, looked at files, uh, mainly uh, MP3s and a couple of my resumes and things like that. Then I got videos and stuff like that and GIFs. So um, yeah, so when you want to upload something, um, basically you can hit the plus button, you can hit the upload, or you can add a new folder, you can add you can scan, take a picture of a you know, receipt or document. Uh, you can create a document, uh, like I said, a resume, or you got a paper for school or work, or something like that. You can use Google Docs and give you shortcut to Google Sheets, you know, for your Excel and a slide for, you know, your PowerPoint presentations. So those are pretty cool shortcuts right there instantly. Now we're gonna go into the uh, drive section down here at the bottom. You see a little cloud, it shows you your total storage for Google Drive and how much you used up so far. So out of the 20 gigs, I used up 16.7. So pretty soon I'll be running out storage, which means I'll have to either upgrade or delete some files. So um, then this is your main menu. You have your help and feedback. You got your settings, notifications, backups, your trash, your offline access, your start, uh, recents and uh, share it with me if you you share it with somebody you know uh, that's using Google Drive uh, your drive account which is basically the main thing and computers now this is a cool feature with the computers um, if you download Google Drive to your your laptop whether it's your Mac or Windows or of course Chrome already has Google Drive on it so once you like upload something with the same Google Drive account that's on your computer as well as your phone or tablet, <clears throat> anything you upload to the drive will appear also. But of course, you have to have an internet connection in order for it to update. So that's that. Now you want to check out settings. Now this is the main key that everyone needs to pay attention to. All right, so you have your backups, you have your reset, you have your notification settings cache your size you have enable quick access you have encryption and you have transfer files only over Wi-Fi uploading and updating of files will pause when Wi-Fi connection isn't available so if you if you don't have that turned on and you're on you're on you're not on Wi-Fi it won't update but if you have it turned on and you're on Wi-Fi it'll update so Make sure if you don't have internet access and you have Wi-Fi, make sure that's turned on. So, I mean, if you have unlimited data, it won't even matter. You can turn that off if you have unlimited data. But if you don't have unlimited data, turn it on. All right. So, and that's really mainly it about Google Drive in a nutshell. Uh, so, like I said, up here at the top, you'll see your, your most recent um most recent documents and files and you know audio and videos and you can create like I said you create folder these are all my folders you can create folder and you can um drag and drop so you can add it to a new folder you can copy the link you can send it to somebody um if if that's what you want um you also have this look three dots up here at the top to change the format the um out outline and yeah that's pretty much it guys that's how you use google drive in a nutshell all right let me know your thoughts in the comment section below have you used google drive